I trust you. Alright, next let's see your right hand. Hmm, yes, not bad. But please remember that you still need to be careful, understand? <sighs> yes, I will. By the way, Master, I still haven't received the patrol route for today. Look, Kale, today's patrol will be a long one, so you won't be coming along this time. Besides, there's a chance we may encounter... Well, you understand. But I have a vision too! <sighs> Am I useless to everyone now? Don't talk like that, Kale. This is not something you need to be worrying about right now. Ah, there you are. Feeling any better? For now, we thought we might as well try lending a hand around here. <laughs> Seems you're not the type to sit back and take it easy for a while, huh? In that case, perhaps Kale could take you two for a patrol south of Gundarvaville for the day. And if you're feeling up to it, you can be responsible for cleaning the Statue of the Seven. Tenari, we're ready to head out. Roger, I'll be right there. All right. We'll be heading into the forest now. I'll yes, you can count on me. So, Kale, what did Tanari mention cleaning the statue just now? But while a forest ranger's responsibilities can be pretty diverse, we handle a variety of tasks, like checking the condition of outlying roads, maintaining forest facilities, ensuring fire pre As for Master, well, he has to handle more dangerous areas of the rainforest. Today, we can perform routine checks on the pathway lamps, as we make our way to the Statue of the Seven. Paimon, grab a... <laughs> you can leave the task of checking the lamps to me. In the meantime, you two can keep an eye out for anything unusual. With these two lamps, let's move to the next ones. Oh, this lamp seems to be getting a little wobbly. Let me make a note of it. Hmm, no problems with this lamp. Good. The statue of the seven is up on top of that large rock formation. You must have seen it when you came. It's pretty high up there, isn't it? Don't worry. If you're afraid you can't make it up there, I'm sure Master wouldn't mind if you don't clean the statue. Oh? I guess I'll leave it up to you then. Paimon will fly up with you and help you with those hard to reach. Um, by the way, Kale, do you know anything about the. Ah, uh, that depends. Are you referring to Greater Lord Rukudavata or Lesser Lord Kusanao? Huh? Greater Lord Rukudavata? Oh, is that the name of the former? Uh huh. Greater Lord Rukudavata was Sumeru's first Dendro Archon. She created the rainforest as well as the Wall of Samiel around the desert. Her work to the people of Sumeru, she's not only a symbol of wisdom, but also of power and kindness. Unfortunately, she disappeared in a great co According to what Master has told me, the sages later found the newly born Dendro Archon and whisked her back to Sumeru. To celebrate the reinstatement of their lost deity, the sages dubbed her Lesser Lord Kusanali and let her reside in the sink. Uh huh. Then, well, and then. Uh huh. You're not too sure. Yeah, I'm from Sumeru. Uh, maybe it's difficult to discuss this topic with strangers. No, no, it's not that. A anyway, y you two know Amber, right? Wait, Amber? You mean. Yes, that's her. I once lived in Mondstadt for a while, and she helped me a lot during that time. There's no one like Amber. 
She lives life to the fullest while always adhering to her strong sense of justice. She's ready to answer the call for action at if you ask me. She's a prime example of a true outrider. She's the first person anyone coming to Mondstadt will meet. You can't help but be enthralled by her charm and enthusiasm. Ah, uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, Paimon thought the work of Outriders was a little different from what you just... Uh, <laughs> sorry. I would... <laughs> it's alright, Kale. Knowing that you're a friend... So, how do you know that we've met... Well, after I returned to Sumeru, Amber and I have stayed in touch... In one letter, she mentioned that Mondstadt was attacked by a fearsome dragon. But I knew you two were the ones she mentioned in the letter the moment I saw you. But, uh... Ah, so... Yep. So please know that you two have my complete trust. I wish I could tell you more about the Dendro Archon, but I have been away from Sumeru. That's all right. You've already helped us a lot. We had never even heard of Greater Lord Ruka Delata or the... Oh, I'm happy that was helpful. There is one thing I want to ask, but... Hmm... So that's why you're here. Don't mention it. We are friends after all, right? <laughs> all right, you both have my thanks. Well, you two are up to... Huh. Now that Paimon looks at it, the deity that's carved on the statue is kind of small. Hmm. Do you think she's supposed to be Greater Lord Ruka Devata or Lesser Lord Kusanali? The name does seem to fit the st Well, anyway, let's get started on cleaning the statue. Nice work. That's one clean statue. Let's head down and meet up with Kale. Kale, we're back! Welcome back! You must be tired after all that clock. Did you bring? Hey, don't be a party pooper. It's not like Kale is a stranger or anything. Besides, I prepared a nice portable dish that forest rangers like to eat called Pita Pockets. I hope. Uh, wh whoops! Ah, no, you dropped it on the ground! Not to worry. I wrapped a few layers of oiled paper around each pita. They should be fine. Oh, whew. I'm a nearly had a heart attack there. Those pitas are amazing! You're quite the cook! Thank goodness you wrapped them in paper. Paimon wouldn't have been able to sleep at night. <laughs> you really know how to compliment the sh- Since you liked it so much, I'll be sure to give you a copy of the recipe sometime. Uh Yay! Thanks, Kale! Oh, <laughs> so, uh, Kale, don't you think that Tainari's a little too strict with you? He won't let you touch anything without his permission. Paimon knocks stuff over all the time flying around the Traveler, but he's never said anything. Everyone has their clumsy moments. No, no, you've got the wrong idea about Master. Uh, <laughs> sure, he may seem a bit harsh at first, but with some time, you'll see that he's actually very kind-hearted. I've heard the veteran rangers say that Master is from some ancient and mysterious race that is known for their cunning wit and reclusive nature. By the way, you've heard of the Academia, right? Well, there's a group called... Uh... Um... Um... Uh... Uh... Um... Boo... Something? <laughs> well, anyway, because Master does a lot of research on plants, sages from the Academia have written him many times, inviting him to take up an official position there. But Master declines their offers every time, saying, Sumeru City is too noisy. It'd be bad for my ears. <laughs> Seems you already know him well. Anyway, 
I'm sure the sages were not happy about his responses. Master could obviously have a bright future in the academia, but he insists on sticking to the path of a forest watcher. Every day he helps the locals of the forest and passes on his extensive knowledge to trainees like me. In fact, Master's the one who taught me how to make pita pockets. Really? Paima would have never guessed that. Oh, speaking of Tainari, he was the one who took care of you after finding you passed out yesterday. He even carried you all the way here. Paimon's still kinda upset, though. He kept scolding Paimon the entire way here. Oh no, I'm sorry. Master might have been overreacting a little. But, uh, it's mostly because Paimon wouldn't stop yelling, Why, oh why, is he going to die? It probably started to get under Master's skin after a while. Hey! Don't laugh! Paimon was genuinely concerned about you! <laughs> like that oh well it's getting late now uh let's hurry back to gandarverville i think master and the others should be back by now too huh what was up with kali just now and why is she in such a hurry all of a sudden look she's practically running back Traveler, you've returned. Yep, we're back! Oh, Kale? Yes. Oh, okay. I think I'll stay here a while. Yeah. 